Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lad on C++ programming. So in the previous tutorial, we have learned how to pass multiple parameters to a generic function and that multiple parameters were of the same generic type. So here in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to pass multiple parameters and that multiple parameters are going to contain some standard data types such as int, float, char, string, etc. Right. So here we can write our generic function. So first we need to write the keyword template. So it's going to be template and then the less than symbol and greater than symbol. And here we need to write the keyword type name or class. I'm going to write type name and then we need to write the identifier name and let's say capital T and then we need to write the return type of our function let's say void you know we're not gonna return any values and then the function name which is display and here you know this display function is gonna take multiple parameters and the first parameter that this display function is gonna take is unknown right now and it will be known you know in the compile time so I'm gonna refer this identifier T and let's say um, x and then we're gonna pass our integer value so i'm gonna use int and let's say y and in the previous tutorial you know this both parameters were of the same generic type here you know this first parameter is a generic type or or you know the type of this first parameter is unknown and it will be known when uh, we compile this program and the second parameter is a standard data type you know integer all right so here what we're gonna do is we're gonna print out the value of this first parameter you know the number of times specified in this second parameter so this way what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the for loop and here i'm gonna create a loop counter variable so it's gonna be int counter and let's initialize this one to one and then this counter is less than or equal to y then counter plus plus and here inside this for loop we're just gonna print out the value of this first parameter x so it's gonna be c out and x and let's end this line all right next we need to prototype this function so i'm gonna copy this and i'm gonna paste it here before my main function and in my main function i'm gonna call this display function so it's gonna be display and i just gonna pass a value of 10 you know the generic type here the first parameter and then i'm gonna pass let's say three now you know when we call this display function the compiler is gonna come to know that okay the first parameter that this display function is gonna take is gonna be of type integers and you know the second parameter is predefined you know which is of type integers and if i build and run this you know we're gonna get 10 three times now i'm gonna pass let's say anil shetty and if i build and run this you know it's gonna print that three times and if i change this one to let's say eight and build and run we'll get eight times and similarly you know i can pass a floating point value here so the notable thing here is you know since this first parameter is of generic type you know we can pass any type of data and the second parameter is a standard type and which is defined and it is of type integers and that's why you know whenever we call this function display you know this second parameter must be an integer value so this is it guys this is about you know passing a standard parameter or the standard data type to a generic function and thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and uh, like my facebook page and stay updated with the latest videos that we're gonna make and i'll see you in the next tutorial